Good morning, everybody. We're at the gym. It's leg day. And as you guys can see, there we go. So as you guys can see, Leo, I have a stomach ache really bad. And I'll tell you the reason. I ate a protein legendary Pop-Tart and a collagen brownie. Honestly, it was the collagen brownie that put me over the edge because it was salty. And normally I don't have issues. I'm not a picky eater. You can't give me a salty brownie. That's not right. That's messed up on so many levels. So, um, it was really the salty brownie that did it. Oh, God. So much written hurts. So, I have 135 on the rack. Today, we're working on form because um, my squats have been whack lately. And it's definitely because of the form. So, let's get this. Okay, so the problem I've been having is I go down way too fast. I should take my time a little bit more. Jesus Christ, dude. I should take my time a little bit more with it, but I tend to rush through a lot. So trying not to rush too much. Set number two, we're going to do four. Whoa, I always do that. Something about me, a lot of people don't talk about this. I don't love the action of working out. Like, to me, what I love is the things that come along with it. I really like how disciplined as a person I've become. Also, I hate using the word disciplined because it's such like a large umbrella term. What I would say is like, if you tell yourself that you're going to do something every day, it's easier to do other mundane things every single day. Like, oh, I go and lift every single day, even when I don't want to. My bones hurt. My body hurts. I can do, I can wash laundry every day. I can clean my room every day. I can clean the bathroom. I can do the dishes every single day. You give me, let me make sure I have storage. All right, free up all the storage. Anyways, I don't know. I guess I'm just like in a motivational mood today because I'm motivational she woke today. Definitely the goal with my YouTube though is that I want people who look like me to know that you don't have to look like this your whole life. I feel like a lot of people are born with this stigmatism in their brain, not born with it, but like taught in their brain that like, hey, you look like this and like that's you or you act like this and that's you. So that's kind of just what I want people to see my videos and be like, hey, I look like her and she's actively trying to get started because I would like to compete one day. Either wellness or bikini, I don't know. And obviously, I'm pretty ways I'm pretty ways away from that. I'm just pretty far away. But that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna try. I have a day of tummy ache to all right, here's set number three. Jesus Christ. Squeeze my tummy. <sighs> I almost couldn't do those last two. It's the last lifting day of the week. I only lift Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday are rest days. I've just found that that honestly works best for me. I don't need to lift freaking Saturday and Sunday. I just lifted for five days in a row. For me, an unenhanced individual, my body's done by Friday. Right now, I'm squatting 135. I started this week squatting 185 tops, at, like, yeah, working set. So, imagine how freaking tired I am right now. Of course I am. 
If you work out all week, come Friday, you should be like, dude, I need a rest day. Some people, sure, don't take rest days, whatever. Like, it's seriously not my business, again. If you don't feel like you need one, there's really no reason to take one. Some days I do live Saturdays or Sundays, some weeks, because I'm like, oh, I'm not tired. But it is literally like, that's like a 10% chance. I Eight out of 10 times, I'm tired by Sunday. Me and my boyfriend spar on Saturday sometimes. It's not every time. And we used to do it every time. Dude, I was tired. But now we wake up at 4.30. We used to wake up like, like 6. So it's a little bit different um, now than it was before. Wake up at 4. Go to bed at like 9. 7 hours. Last night, 6 hours because my dog wouldn't go to sleep. My puppy. Wanted to be crazy all day. Alright. Last set, I think. Oh my I can't believe I didn't throw up on that last one. Oh my god. We're gonna go to like extension and hamstring girl. Most likely hamstring girl. But I'm gonna show you guys over there. I was like unracking everything. Okay. Okay, so I got my hamstring curl set up. I went to like two different places because I couldn't decide where I wanted to go. Then I just landed on this hamstring curl. I went to go do a single leg hamstring curl, but I could not get even an acceptable angle of that than like the regular hamstring curl. This one has made me way more sore than that one. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do four sets of hamstring curls, four sets of leg extension, and then we're done. I'm like sticking to those today because my stomach hurts and I'm a little baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I feel like hamstrings are such like a delicate muscle. That's why it's very scary for me to like push close to failure. It's scary for anyone because like I feel like they could just snap anytime, but they won't. It'll be the best music. But she will I'm going to Disneyland on Sunday. I'm really excited, but it's going to rain. So that's what I'm not excited for. Um, but it doesn't really matter. I just have to deal with it. I've been to Disneyland when it rains before. Disneyland is fun. I can go to Disneyland every day for the rest of my life. I would, I think I've said this before, but if I wasn't Gen Z, if I was a millennial, I probably would have been a Harry Potter person and like also a Disney person. A Disney adult and Harry Potter adult. So thank God I wasn't born then. That would have been me and I would have had no shame and I also would have been like, I need my coffee. <laughs> Hands out the markets. That set was a good one. I feel like I actually challenged myself with that set. Normally, I like, I have trouble challenging myself, but that one was like, the last three reps were like pretty good. They burned. All right, you guys. We are on the leg extension machine. I have the weight on 120. Yeah, a lot of weight. And I already did one set. We just have one more, or no, three more. Um, I just am gonna record probably this one. Who knows, I might record all three sets, I don't know. But let's just go, to be honest. I. Might put the weight down after this set. So you guys are going to see. I can't like consecutively go with 120. I normally stop in between. It's because I'm trying to be able to do more weight. So it's going to be like an ego lift for the first time. So 
Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Oh, it's really important to me to fully extend my legs at the top. Oh God, that was like, that was crazy. I'm so sweaty, dude. I'm also not really that nauseous anymore, thank God. And honestly, that's probably because I have water today. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... I lost this water bottle for a month. I got this from my job that I quit. They gave it to me as a gift, but they also had a holiday party and like invited everybody except for like me and two other my other coworkers. And like we were new and whatever, but it was like secret. Like they didn't want us to know that they had like their own holiday. It was just weird. It was weird, dude. I don't even want to think about that. Set number two. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we only have one more set. I just need to like calm down and breathe. And then we're done. They play so much Drake in here, like I feel like I know every single Drake song now. All right, last up. Probably gonna. No, I am gonna put the weight down. I'm gonna go slightly assisted with my hand holding. Okay. I'm gonna clean this off and then we're gonna go do the pump. I can't. Alright, you guys, it's pump time. Yeah. So, weekly weigh in. I am no longer considering my scale at home to be fact because I have received intel from my sister that that scale, because it used to be hers, is infiltrated with. False weight. False weight. Yep. That's the word I was thinking of. All right, bye-bye.